Exposomics is a modern take on this age-old idea in science, this dichotomy between nature and nurture. The simplest way to describe exposomics is to think about it as the environment around us. Exposomics is a study of all the health-relevant environmental factors that we experience in our day-to-day -day lives. Even disease like autism, which people tend to think of as being genetic, has an environmental component. Autism is the ideal example to, to emphasize how the genes and environment come together. And to understand any disease, we must look at both these factors. The sooner we diagnose autism, the bigger the impact therapy will have. Autism is an early developmental disorder, which means it already manifests within the first several months that the baby is born. And therefore, any causes probably happen sometime between conception and the first year of life. We are focusing our efforts on identifying environmental risk factors during that period of susceptibility when the brain is most amenable to change due to environmental factors. Our laboratory is unlike any other laboratory in the world in our capacity to measure the environment. We can actually assign the time at which that chemical exposure occurred. There are signatures in our body that can only be seen in, in the time dimension. If you've ever looked at a tree that has been cut down, you will see growth rings. And you can map the qualities of tree growth backwards in time. We've started looking at growth rings in human hair. As you move across those growth rings, you're actually going back in time. And as we map across it, we find these dynamic rhythms that are characteristic of autism. We are collecting teeth and hair samples in order to examine the exposome in children with autism and in their family members. This tiny tooth holds an ocean of information about environmental exposures during pregnancy and after birth. It just collects everything that the body or the child is exposed to. We can pinpoint exactly when an exposure happened from the middle of pregnancy and until age seven. The reason that exposomics is so exciting to us is we can measure thousands if not millions of chemicals all at once. How do we measure within each growth ring and measure thousands of signatures? The Institute for Exposomic Research has built our own world-first robotic system that allows us to analyze teeth and hair in a manner that is not possible by any other technology. What excites me most about this field, especially being at Mount Sinai and being part of the Exposome Institute, is the freedom to innovate, to think bravely and solve big problems that have a big impact on public health. We can't modify our genes, but we can modify our environment. And once we understand that, we can start to develop therapies to reduce the effects of autism in children or even prevent the disease altogether.